Well, in somewhat of a surprise release, merely hours after Apple dropped iOS 26 Beta 7 and iPadOS 26 Beta 7, they actually finally dropped the public betas for both of these ahead of schedule. We didn't think these would be coming till Thursday, Wednesday at the earliest, but not three hours later. So we have had some time to play around with this, and if you're thinking about downloading this new public beta, let's talk about how it's been performing and how battery life has been to this point. So first things first, since a lot of people always ask, is this the same build number as what you get on beta seven or the most recent beta? The answer is yes. And as we talked about in our video on iOS 26 beta seven, this is carrying an A build, which signifies Apple thinks very highly of this and it is nearing public release. And well, having a same day public beta drop only reaffirms that thought. So yes, this now will be the same beta Beta 7 and public beta 4 are exactly the same. So having said that, everything has been performing great. Our one hiccup that we've been talking about is when you swipe in the control center. Sometimes it's kind of laggy, as you can see there. It doesn't take all the swipes necessarily, and usually it glitches on that first swipe. We might be the only one experiencing this, but that should tell you just how smooth this beta has been running. A little bit more clarification on our device specifically, iPhone storage is really the only issue that we're talking about that again, could just be related to us, but it is taking up a ton of system data here. File size is 33, a little over 33 and a half gigs actually. Not everyone's experiencing this, but keep an eye out and comment down below what your system data is, what it's using up on iOS 26. Aside from that, iOS itself is using almost 20 gigs, not uncommon or unheard of, but something I wanted to let you know. And then more importantly is battery life. These betas, now including beta seven, have substantially, substantially improved battery life. So our battery health is down to 95%, as you can see here, after 357 cycles, and I'm not having any problem with battery life. The only caveat is I'm still not getting a full day with a single charge. I do still have to top off regularly, but aside from that, everything else has been pretty good. As you can see, historically on some days, we're getting over seven hours of screen active time if needed. Yesterday was a little less. We didn't use our phone quite as heavy, but just to make you aware, since it's always the question, battery life seems to be good. What's really reassuring on this is that only a couple hours after this beta has been installed on our phone, we have not felt it overheat at all once it finished indexing and battery life wasn't even dropping from those processes in the background. So that is awesome to see. As far as how everything's performing, if you missed that other video, look how just fluid everything is running. Everything is working really good. Let's go into the Apple Music app. You can see exactly how Liquid Glass is looking and performing. We still have those new changes where it's even more tweaked and polished than before. And I haven't had no issues at all with this. Banking app, since that's always a question as well, is working very, very smoothly. Everything is just fluid. So yeah, again, aside from this though, let's talk about the rest of the release schedule since this kind of changes it a little bit. Since we received both the public beta and the actual beta seven for devs on the same day, probably the rest of the week will be pretty quiet. Now, I do assume since this is in more people's hands, we now will definitely get a beta eight next week, even though this is an A build. I say that because more people using it are gonna discover more minute, tiny issues, whether it's UI related or process related, I definitely think we will now get another one on the 25th, just fine tuning this. And then again, after that, we will have a two week gap before we get the RC at the Apple uh, event coming around the 9th as rumored. And at that point, we will then get the RC or release candidate version. And that'll be the last one before the public release the week after on the 15th. So this is all great news. And again, as bad as iOS 26 beta started, this is a huge improvement. I think they're finalizing liquid glass and the way they're doing it looks good. It is definitely a little darker on your control center and even on lock screens. So this is a kind of a change that happened back in beta six really, 
but the darkness kind of triggers in on the wallpaper screen when you are looking at notifications for easier visibility. That's not a bug. That definitely is what Apple is using here going forward, I believe, and I don't think it's a bad solution at all. But aside from that, keep in mind, everything else has been working good. Apple can still do Apple things, and we still could get another release later in the week. I just feel like it is very unlikely. So one other call out before we actually finish here, make sure if you're interested in these wallpapers, subscribe to the channel and tune in on Sundays for our Apple recap or Apple rewind that will be going on where we drop these links to our new wallpapers. If you're interested in that, those should be going live over the weekends going forward. So aside from that, the last takeaway I have here is for you guys to comment down below. Let me know your system data usage and what device you're using and how you're liking these changes to iOS 26 in the finalized states. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.